Okay, now we've added the Hotmail account, we're going to add a Gmail account, which is the same process. Click the furthest left which says File, then Account Settings, Account Settings, New, Email Account. It's not actually a new one, it's adding a new one to Outlook, so you've, it's already existing. Just put your details in as normal, what you want this account to be called, because you could have a, um, uh, say, your name home, where this one could be business. Um, I generally separate them out depending on what they are later, because I color code them. Anyway, uh, let's log in. Now hopefully it'll take my password. As you can see, it's auto configuring itself again. Um, the older software didn't used to do this, you had to do it manually. Um, and for that, I recommend looking for the version of live, um, live mail or Outlook that you have because they can be slightly different. But for 2013, this is how you do it. I believe 2010 is the same, very quick to, to work. As you can see, it's now recognized it. It's got an IM, IMAP and SMTP for the servers, for the, the mail servers. And it should start synchronizing it. So we can close that one up now. And my Gmail will appear here. There we go, I've got email starting to appear. I don't really want all my emails showing. <laughs> so that's Gmail.